So hello and once again welcome back to the Deadlinger Alpha. This time we're taking a look at build 13, Quality of Life. Now this build has added a poop ton of new things, like a ridiculous amount of things. But I'm along with the new things that have been added to the Deadlinger, I am also changing up my usual video format. So hopefully I can edit this a bit more, make it less of me walking around not saying anything, and more of me showing the new stuff that has been added to the game since the last build. So just just more edited video, um, more to the point video. That's basically what I'm trying to get at here. So the first, let's just uh, take a look at all the new things that have been added to the Dead Linger. The first thing I want to point out real quick was settings. They have taken out the pre-launcher for the Dead Linger, which I don't think they should have because some people, I know one of my friends has issues sometimes with games where the resolution on their screen is whacked out, so if the game doesn't have like a pre-launcher, sometimes the game just doesn't work on his computer. So they took out the pre-launcher and moved the resolution and the full screen and windowed options to the settings graphics menu. So right here you can see the different resolutions and the full screen or windowed. They also have a FOV slider, which I know one YouTuber in particular would be delighted about that. Quality has been moved here as well. Uh, and then the advanced options, just, uh, you know, all that random stuff. Different, I don't think anybody, anything else has changed, but I could be wrong on that. If you want to take a look at the complete patch notes from the developer themselves, I'll link it down in the description below. But time to move on to the, uh, the actual in-game changes. And as usual, I want to point out that the Deadlinger is an alpha stage. There are some bugs, crashes, and hiccups, as well as unfinished or missing features. There are many, many more updates to come. Be sure to check out the roadmap to see a full plan. And then they added tips. So, this is a very, uh, very alpha game. There are going to be a poop ton of bugs, uh, and that's just to be expected from an alpha game. Now roaming around the world, you can find undead hordes. These groups of ravenous zombies are not something you necessarily want to be next to. And if you see one, you should probably steer clear and run in the opposite direction. Now, unfortunately, I'm not smart enough to do so, and I'm probably going to go over... I'm just going to come over here and take a look at what they look like when they're uh, grouped up together. It looks like they are walking in different directions, and this group will probably end up dispersing if we leave it alone, but we're not smart enough to do that. So let's walk in here and see how they react. Do do do. Oh, hi, zombies. Okay. It looks like they haven't noticed me yet. What if I jump? Are you serious? Oi. Oh, no, it notices me. Uh. Do they notice me? I'm not sure. Maybe the, the, the grouped zombies are dumber. Okay. Okay, some of these guys have definitely noticed me. But look! I look like one of you! Come on. No. Okay, I think only one or two of them noticed me. Well, that AI has to be fixed probably a little bit. Probably a lot. Alright. Uh, it looks like the regular zombies aren't as dumb as the horde zombies were, so it's probably probably just a glitch with how they spawned or something like that. The One of the biggest changes that I saw in the patch notes was that one of the first vehicles, and the first of many vehicles, has been added to the game. The only vehicle in the game currently is the mountain bike, and if I hit C I can interact with it and get on it. I'm going to try to ride away from the zombie before I die though. Oh, it was not su successful. This is... Oh, poop. This is awkward. <laughs> um, here it is, in all of its glory. I can ride around in third person, too. I love third person modes in zo open world zombie survival games. Uh, so here I am, riding a bike. Uh, that's, that's, that's a little broken. But, uh, ignore it. And you can still get killed while riding on a bike, so don't think... Don't go around thinking that you, you're invincible. Like, I just got beat up there hard. 
So, you probably don't want to go th riding through a group. Oh, crap. That zombie hit me from, like, three miles away. That was unusual. So, I'm just going to ride around on my bike. What was that? I have no idea. Let me get off my bike real quick. Oh. Um. Okay. That's floating. Can I pick it up? No, I can just ride it. Okay. Well, here we go. The first vehicle of Mini to be added to the game. I'm very excited for this, and I'm glad that they uh, they finally imp implemented a vehicle, even if it is just a one-seated bike. Wee hee hee, This should make travel a lot easier, and you don't have to rely on your sprint all the time. So that's good. I'm gonna go and walk, go around, and loot all these houses or something, and try to find new items. Also, one thing I want to mention real quick before I, uh, I cut away from this is that you can hold down shimf shift to move faster than usual. It also takes up your sprint bar, so it's basically like you're sprinting, except uh, on a bicycle, which does make sense. So, meow. Ooh, here's the new zombie type. The new zombie type is called Fat Bob. He is... Oh god, look at him wearing that shirt. He's better at taking down barricades and doors than the usual zombies, probably due to his sheer mass and size. I would imagine he would be slower, but it doesn't look like it. Maybe they'll add that in the future. That would be a pretty cool thing to make him do. It'd make him have more health, better at destroying barricades and doors, and eating you alive and such. <laughs> now I'm gonna die from this guy. God dang it. I gotta run. So that's a cool new looking zombie. I like the... I like the the shirt and the work pants and stuff like that. It's nice to spice it up from the usual black pants, black jeans, zombies. Black jeans, right? Yeah, black jeans. Hopefully, more will get out in the future. I know there was a Christmas-themed, Santa-themed uh, zombie last patch, but they removed it and replaced it with this guy. I wonder if he'll be back next year. Time will tell. Ouch. Next thing I wanted to say is that if the survivor dies, he will no longer keep all of his items that he had on death. The difficulty has been increased, the default difficulty has been increased, and thus you will have to go back to your body to pick up your items when you die. They drop on the floor, Minecraft style, and then you have to go back, interact with their body, and get them all up. So in the future there will be different, uh, different difficulty options added to the game. For those that don't like that, uh, for now, temporarily, there's a skull waypoint to show where you last died, but that, I believe, will be removed in the future. I'm not sure, though. So, that's that's very interesting. Uh, I'm really glad that they're giving you the option of not being forced to lose all of your items on death. If, uh, if they add that type of difficulty setting in the future. This is this is going to take a very long time to get back to my body, isn't it? So yeah, you can spawn a pretty far distance from your body, which is kind of annoying, but I can see, I guess I can kind of see what they're going for. Um, that would be great if there was like a set respawn location too. So here we are, we're almost back to my body. Uh, Fat Bob is here to greet us. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find my items though. Uh, there's my ah, oh, there's my body. I'll take my body, and hopefully I don't die again. Holy butts! So yeah. Oh god, that's the straight. This is actually the first time I've seen that thing. God dang it. Uh, last I was doing a video on last patch, and I spent literally hours trying to find this stupid animal. So now it's here and it's just mocking me, being a jerk. I'm gonna shoot it. I can't. I can't shoot the thing. Not even with the brand new uh, aiming system that makes it easier to aim. Oh, this is gonna be. This is gonna be one hell of an annoying thing to to combat. I don't think I even have a melee weapon yet, which is a terrible thing to not have in a zombie apocalypse. Oh, let's just go through here and hopefully. Hopefully, the frames can keep him out. There we go. So, 
Let me try to find a melee weapon in this house so I can kill that stupid dog. Oh, sounds like he's breaking in. Hopefully he's not as good as at breaking things as the humans. That door is seriously annoying and it's gonna make me turn down my uh, my game audio a lot. It's like every door in this house needs a WD-40 job on it. So I found like nothing in this house. That kind of sucks. Bots. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna run out this door. Oh, I just ran face first into it. God dang it. On to the next house. Hopefully the stray isn't following me still, because I don't think I have any ammo. Whoops, I did. Oh, I still do. Good. Good, good, good. Do, do, do. Can we kick down this door? By the way, just wanted to say real quick, kicking no lo you can no longer ki ki uh, kick while moving. It holds you in place, but the range has been slightly increased to be slightly further than your melee uh, punches. <sighs> that goddamn door sound. Hmm. Looking at this this house in general, I think the house is just absent of every single item. Because you can see on the, in the living room, there is nothing. And usually there's at least a couch. God, I hate that sound. Uh, probably more than I should, but still, when it plays like five times in a row, it makes your ears bleed a lot. Another of the biggest changes of this patch would have to be the dedicated servers. Now, there is now a new option in the Steam files of the Deadlinger to start a dedicated server for the Deadlinger. Unfortunately, currently, you can't actually play the game while the, uh, while the server is up. Like, you can't join your own server if it's a dedicated server. Uh, there, w there is a way to host a server and play the game at the same time, but it's not through dedicated. Uh, they will... I, I assume they'll be adding a way so that you can host a dedicated server and play on it at the same time in the future. But a quote from the patch note says... <clears throat> Tons of plans and improvements are coming for dedicated servers, so expect stuff like that, probably more commands, uh, abilities to kick people out of the game, and stuff like that coming in the future. So that's that's one of, that's pretty exciting for people if they want to host their own server for the Deadlinger, and I, I feel like that's going to be pretty important when this game becomes pretty popular. What is this? I don't know. But this is a thing. Ooh. So a change that I really like, that I was actually getting kind of annoyed at in the last couple patches, is that aiming with guns is now a whole lot easier. You can be pixel perfect on your accuracy. I believe this has to do with some changes to the overall look system in general. Uh, before every, just like it would jump around constantly like that, 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 that. It would be hard to line up any shots. I'm pretty sure this is mouse acceleration at play, which generally I don't like mouse acceleration, but in this case, it's working out best for me, I'd say, and for you. Um, I'm going to try to snipe the zombie. Got him. He didn't expect a damn thing. And I'm pretty sure this world is absent. I mean, this town is absent of all items, because I just went and five buildings and I only found a book which wasn't even classified really as an item and I couldn't pick it up so I don't know I might have to change worlds or something probably gonna have to end up doing that also if you want to know the world uh, I believe the where is the where is the 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 world seed no nope, I guess I forgot oh there it is seed one 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 zero zero yeah that's a thing so, meow meow and meow meow. One of the changes that was added was that bullets now pierce through zombies. Let's see if I can actually uh, line these up correctly. Depending on the caliber bullet, I'm not sure if this type of bullet will p actually pierce through zombies. But let's give it a try, shall we? Whoops. Well, luckily I have another chance. Yep. Did you see him stumble there? He stumbled back like he got hit by a bullet. 
So that means that bolts do in fact pierce through zombies. It went through that guy's skull and I guess hit that guy in the chest or maybe the skull, but it didn't have quite enough power to actually um, finish him off. I guess I'm terrible at aiming from the hip. There we go. One of my favorite zombie changes is that now you can sneak up on zombies and perform an assassination. This means that as long as I remain undetected and I go up behind a zombie and melee hit it, it will do two times the damage of the regular swing. I think I don't. I don't think you can even uh, kill the zombies if you don't hit them in the head. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure you can't. So I don't know if how you're gonna be crouching and then hit a zombie in the head. That would take some pretty precise work, but. Here's this mountain bike again. I love these things. They're fantastic. Can I pick this up? A hoodie. Interesting. wonder if that affects my character. I guess it doesn't. Increases my infection risk. That auto put it on me. I did not want to put that on. Crude hiking boots. Ooh. Negative one movement speed. That's poopy. And that sound is annoying. So is that sound. Man. Okay. Well, I think... Yeah. Yeah. Doop doop. One of my favorite things that has been changed about the zombies is that now sometimes, occasionally when you dr kill an enemy, they will drop loot. But I have killed probably about a dozen or two dozen zombies, and I have not found any loot on the zombies yet. So it's definitely, uh, it's definitely a rare possibility. So I'm in a barn here, as you can tell. And I just did something that I thought was really amazing and I had to share with you guys because it just made me go like, oh my god, I wish I was recording that. So I'm going to run off this this cliff and usually I would take fall damage, but I'm going to crash roll. Brown. Oh yeah, that, that's a thing that you can do in this video game. If that doesn't make everything about this video game amazing, I don't know what will to you. So I'm going to shoot this buck. Dun, 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 dun. To do aim for the heart, right? Yep. There we go. If only I had a, a butcher's knife. But unfortunately, nothing is spawning. So, oh my god! Look at that hay bale go! Ooh, ooh, can I shoot it? Oh my god! It's a hay bale apocalypse! Coach would be so proud. <laughs> this is amazing! This is the silliest thing I think I've ever seen in this game. Come on. Oh, party all night long, hay bales! Hay bale party! <laughs> oh my god! What is happening? Oh. Oh, this is a, Can I die from a hay bale falling on me? Because hay bale explosions are happening? This is just... Like, why... Are hay bales spawning too much? And that's the reason why it's just... There's just a hay bale apocalypse happening. That might be the reason. Hey, at least I can pull these hay bales around, going like, eh. Eh. I can make a hay bale for it. Unfortunately, I can't stack things. Maybe they'll land on each other coincidentally, and I can make a fort out of that. But, <laughs> I have no idea why hay bales are constantly spawning and exploding up into the sky. I should probably stop recording this before some magical demon invades my computer and uh, and makes my computer explode like these hay bales. In fact, that's happening right now. Oh god. Meow. And as you can see right there, every time you pick up an item now, the, uh, the item will show up in your chat log saying you picked up this item and that item and the 44 ammo and such. Okay, that was kind of annoying. Oh, that's an annoying sound. Holy crap, I hope that... Oh, that is ear-shattering. Anyway, yeah, I just wanted to... Meow about that. Let's take a look inside this house, why don't we? Do-do-do. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Sounds like somebody's trying to get in. Oh, I hear the glass breaking. That's not good. Any 
anybody through here. Just a creaky door of doom. Ooh, with some boots. I want these boots. Give me them boots. Got them boots. I also want to point out that in the the inventory has been uh, has been reworked to have a cleaner, smoother, darker background and such. The inventory system has yes, as you can see here, like the the color scheme is a little bit different. Whenever you hover over an item, it now highlights the item and shows how, to make it easier to see how much grid space it takes up compared to previously when you just had to guess. Like, yeah. Now it's just it's just easier and generally better at doing stuff. The auto sort button is also here now. Just like click doop a doop. Yeah. So I li I like the I like the new inventory system. It makes it it makes it very very nice looking is all I can say, really. Yeah, if that makes sense. Whatever. On to the next bit. All right. So, ooh, looky here. I think I'll be taking this backpack down here. Picked up a hunting bag. Check it out. God, hold on one second. I'm gonna turn down that that ob obnoxious sound uh, effects thing of doom. Well, I'm pretty sure there's literally no way to turn down the um the sound of the backpack opening which is pretty loud I gotta say so I hope they they link that to the the sound effects uh, bar at some time and unfortunately the door sound is also uh, linked to it so that's that's, that's something unfortunate uh, we got a axe here so we can cut down some trees and stuff we got a uh, sandstone weapon is this some ammo for it? Yes, cool. I was, I was worried I wouldn't get any um get any ammo. Something else I wanted to point out really quickly now that I'm in the inventory and I'm talking about random crap here is that as you can see on the items here, you can see the condition of the items, the new condition and and uh, durability uh, bars and settings on items has been added. So items you find in the world will have a condition on them, which will affect the um, the the base status effects of the item in question. As you can see here, the uh, condition of this rifle is excellent, so that must mean that it it does the the uh, the normal mount. Uh, this ex this is excellent as well. I don't know how a con oh contaminated CDF sandstone. I thought it increases infection risk. I thought it said it decreases infection risk. So this is contaminated. This is the first item I've seen that had that that uh, that pre pre note thing on it. And it increases your infection risk while you're wearing it. So that's that's poopy. You might not want to mess around with it too much. And I got a um, an excellent one-handed sharp hatchet, and these also have a durability attached to them. So as the durability goes down, I believe it'll have a little message in the chat box to the bottom left here. And if it hits zero, the item uh, gets destroyed, obviously. So yeah, that's a bad thing. Uh, unfortunately, there is no way to currently repair items in this build, but in future builds that feature will be added. Now, the condition of the item also affects the durability of the, of the item. So the higher the condition, the more durability it will have at base, and the, thus the, the longer it'll take to break. I don't know if that affects uh, food items here. It looks like it doesn't. That would be interesting if it did as well. Uh, like rotten, although I know they have rotten um, bananas and such. I'm gonna actually eat this since I was starving a bit. Got defense speed. That's loud. That's really loud. It's probably not linked to the uh, sound effects. Um, to the sound effects as well. Dragging heavy items is now back and uh, added to the game. This feature was removed in build. Uh, no, this was added in build 009. But I think they took it out because of some some bugs they had 
before previously was actually just better to run into the object to move it rather than drag it. But I guess they changed that you can't uh, run into an object to, uh, to move it now. So that dragging is actually essential for moving heavy items. Uh, unfortunately, you can't you can't do much while you're dragging because your hands are occupied by pushing a thing. So that's that's something. So let's say I want to barricade the store, but I don't have any any wood or any hammers or anything like that. And just uh, push up this 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 couch to it, and now the door can't. Oh, well, I'm completely wrong on that, but I assume in the future it will be that way. Yeah, I'm really, like you can push this this chair up there. Do do do. Can't do much. It takes a very very long amount of time too. Can I pick up this? I can. Whoop a doop. I can throw it. I thought I could break out windows. No, I guess I can't. I can I can kick out the window. Oh, that's a zombie. I guess he heard me throwing chairs around. Come on. Ah, dang it. I hope they. Hope they change that in the future. Yeah. But anyway, that's that's pretty cool. Can't wait till they expand on on the barricading system because currently it's kind of janky, as you can see here. But that's alpha for you. And I got corn. So moldy corn at that. So your argument is currently invalid. I just found the new weapon that was added to the game. Uh the brand new weapon that was added is called the Autumn Point. It takes uh, .3006 ammo. And, yeah, that's the new item that... The new weapon that was added to the game. I believe this is the first of three that have been added. The other ones is the Riot Shield and the Ballistic Shield, if I remember correctly. So, hopefully I can find one of those. I would imagine they would be in a prison. I haven't found a prison in a couple patches. So I, I don't know if I'll be able to find that. Speaking of the Riot Shield and Ballistic Shield, I might as well point out in this small little clip um, that a new armor set has been added to the game that would include Riot Gear, which includes uh, the previously mentioned Riot Shield and Ballistic Shield, plus a Riot Helmet, shirt, pants, boots, just, you know, all the, all the things that you can see here. They all basically have new Riot Gear. So that's pretty neat that was added to the game, but I'll probably never find it in a million years. And this goddamn train! I swear to God, if it interrupts me taking another, uh... If it interrupts another clip, I'm just gonna pee everywhere. Ugh. So I was just talking about the riot vest in that last clip that I had up there. And guess what I found? I found a riot vest, a classic riot vest, outer chest equipment. It provides 9.6 defense and negative 3 movement speed, so it, it makes you a tank, basically. You're slow moving, but uh, but you're, you can take on a lot. Protesters? More like no-testers. Oh, oh, damn! This is a funny game. Holy poop. I'm just gonna eat this rotten apple. Aw, oh, num. Num, num, num. Oh, that is a crunchy-ass sounding apple. And that was kind of loud, too, so... <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm going to drop this. So yeah, that's a thing. I just wanted to make this quick little thing here. So you can see uh, see the, the Riot Fest for yourself. See how it affects the stats, too. I think the defense is definitely worth the speed. But you, it's up to you guys to decide. If you want to be quick and nimble and kill people with the free man, which is amazing, by the way. I love that that this is a thing. Um, or you can be a tank and just walk through hordes of zombies, not caring. Yeah. Moving on. There's a new change that now every time you walk on a surface, depending on what surface you're walking on, you will hear new footstep sounds. So, as for instance, like here, you can hear the street footsteps. It just it sounds like you're walking on pavement. If I go into the dirt, it'll sound different. There we go. Sounds like you're walking on dirt, and I believe if we go into the house, it'll sound different as well. Yeah. 
So I love that they added that change. It's slight, but it helps with the immersion of the game quite significantly, if that's the type of thing you're into. This mailbox is facing the wrong way. That must be annoying for the mailman. Uh, yeah. Uh, some new animations in third-person mode have been added. This also affects multiplayer as well, multiplayer games. Um, crouching animation has been added in third person. I hope they expand upon third person sooner than, uh, well, pretty soon in the next patches or two. I'm gonna open up my bag and swap to this. And there's also a new upper body swing melee weapon thing animation that you can see here. It looks kind of pathetic, but it'll probably be changed in the future, I would imagine. Yeah. Oh, there's a kicking animation, too. That's pretty neat. I didn't even know that was in. Um. Yeah, that's... I don't think you're gonna keep any zombies at bay with that kick, buddy. <laughs> but keep trying! So as the sun comes up, my video ends. I must say this has been a, uh, a very different type of video that I've ever done. It has a poop ton of editing I'm gonna have to do. Uh, and I feel like, I feel like, no, I feel glad putting more effort into this type of the Deadlinger video than I, I do just sitting down for 40 minutes, hitting the record button, and just talking about random, just random things, you know, no, telling what has been added in the Deadlinger, and a couple of bugs that have been changed, that skull just disappeared, my body isn't here, oh, there it is, but, I don't, I don't know, if you guys like this format better than the old format, be sure to let me know, um, but if you want me to go back to the old format, let me know that as well. I know both of them have their pros and cons, the, f the pros for the, uh, the, the longer one, the unedited version, is that, first of all, it's less work on me and I can get them out faster, uh, for those that don't like a whole lot of cuts or edits, uh, that's better for them. But for this type of video, I gotta say, it's probably worth the time, because it gets to the point of the new stuff that was added. Um, I feel it's more fulfilling for me, myself, as a video creator. But, again, let me know what you guys think, and I'll go off of what you guys want. But anyway, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this new format of the Deadlinger video, and goodbye. Can you wrench him? Oh, just... Ow, I tried, but he wouldn't let me. It was like, you can't wrench. No, 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 it... Maybe he won't notice me. Just keep him they, distracted. They're on me. It'd be good. Oh, no. Uh -oh. oh, no. Run. You don't see anything. Why wouldn't it let me wrench him? Why would I? Oh, my God. No. Don't. Wrenching doesn't work anymore. Wrenching doesn't work anymore. Just... Jesus. No, no, that guy's taking a shit. Run. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> This is the most the guy screwed us. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! The door is locked. Oh, shit! God, I'm gonna get shot. Um, it's beautiful. Oh, oh, what is that? Is that a transformer? What the? Fuck?